Hi, I'm Madeline Winsick. I'm going to be a senior this year. I'm a pre-vet major with a minor in wildlife and insect conservation and a One Health certificate. This summer, I've been working in the program Unique Strengths at the University of Delaware under Dr. Ben Hemabosch with Audrey Ballot. My mentor, Dr. Bosch, has been researching wooden's breast disease in broiler chickens for a couple years now. In 2021, I assisted him in collecting blood samples and tissue samples from broiler chickens from various hatches. Each hatch ranged in various ages between one and seven weeks. So the purpose of this research is understanding um, genetic basis of a muscle disease in chickens. This muscle disease is called wooden breast disease, which impacted only commercial broiler chickens. Uh, the manifestation of this disease is a uh, hardness of the breast muscle, which, uh, which is a big problem currently in poultry industry. And the farmers and breeders trying to find a solution to solve this problem. So my lab research is a part of it, um, understanding what is the cause of it. And we are trying to identify gene or genetic factors that cause this disease in chickens. Over the course of this summer, organization of data and materials was crucial to the efficiency of our research. Our research started with eight hatches. Each hatch contained 96 blood samples. DNA was isolated from these blood samples through a series of techniques employing buffers to protect and purify the DNA, while degrading other components such as RNA and proteins. Following isolation, DNA samples were verified through nanodrop technology, ensuring the integrity of our samples. This newly isolated DNA was the foundation to the rest of our research. We created primers, which are short strands of DNA or RNA that are essential to the start of DNA synthesis. Programs such as Ensemble, Primer 3, and Primer Design were vital in this process as it allowed us to design primers specific to our target genes. A polymerase chain reaction machine, or thermocycler, was used to amplify specific DNA segments highlighted by the primers through rapidly heating and cooling the samples. This process is called polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. After preparing the DNA samples and running them through the PCR machine, the next step is gel electrophoresis. This technique uses an agrose gel and an electric current to separate DNA sequences based on their sizes. DNA, which is negatively charged due to its phosphate backbone, migrates towards the positively charged end of the gel. To prepare the gel, a low concentration buffer is poured over it. This buffer conducts the electric current and dissipates heat generated during the process. Prior to loading into the wells, the PCR products are mixed with a dye to facilitate visualization under UV light. Once the samples are loaded, the gel is run and the DNA migrates according to the electric current. After electrophoresis is complete, images are taken under UV light. This image here captures our results and shows the molecular weight ladder, which is loaded into the first well that serves as a reference for measuring the DNA bands present. These results help us locate our target gene and relate them back to the entire genome sequence of the chickens that help us correlate it to the wooden's breast disease. So results from this research will be um, used in a different way. Some, some aspect of it is going to help us to identify uh, more scientific uh, um, reason for, for the problem and uh, what is really happening in the muscle, what kind of uh, genes involved with this disease and some other aspect of it, more apl applied aspect of it is helping farmers to breed uh, chickens that do not have this problem and they um, hopefully results from this research going to give kind of tools that they need to select chickens that do not have this muscle disease.